Peace, welcome to my domain, I'm Game Devil Rex Mecha, welcome back to LEGO Dimensions! Ghostbuster time again! That's not what I wanted to do. Woo! What does that do? There's some things up there. Oh, they just moved the ladder. Okay, don't need that then. What we do need to do is I need to summon a Batman. I need to summon the Batman variety of a person. Bruce Wayne, you're wanted on line floor. <laughs> Batman style. Yeah. Oh boy, I need to find a better hiding place next time. Goody, who the hell are you? And off he goes. You want? Why not keep Batman out? He might be useful. <laughs> on second night. Nah. Go away, Batman. <laughs> like what? Huh. Okay. I missed. Oh, I can't do anything else. Yeah, 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 go away. There we go. Deal with that. Now, why am I still up here? Oh, yeah, I need that TV back. I need that TV back up. Mm, because there's something down there that requires the attention of Homer's television that explodes because. Why do TVs explode? Especially when Homer deals with him? Yes. Yes. There's that. Ah! Okay! I need to do something here. I need to do something up here. Like what, though? What is needed? Okay. Okay. I got it. Yep. 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 So which one is Abby 8 supposed to be? Is she supposed to be the Ray... The Ray Stance? Rule breaking the barrier. Is she supposed to be the equivalent of Ray Stance or Peter Venkman? Which one is she supposed to be the equivalent of? I'd like to be able to move this, please. Thank you. Thank you. No, seriously, who's the she the equivalent of? What do, what character does Melissa McCarthy play? Does she play the equivalent of? Raymond Stance, or or the equivalent of Peter Bankman. Although you look at her first, you you kind of all see a combination of Ray Stance, Egon Spangler, and Peter Bankman. So yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna need a vehicle, aren't I? I'm gonna need to put together Ecto One, aren't I? Because I obviously. Can't summon Homer's car. No, I need to bust the ghosts. No, I need to put together Ecto One. Well, since I have the pieces all here, I might as well put it together. Talk amongst yourselves while I deal with this. Uh, so I need. I got this. You know, it's too bad you guys can't see me doing this because uh, it would be very entertaining. Watch me put this together. <laughs> I think. I don't know. It's up to you guys. So I need that. And then I need one of these. And then I need one of these. Okay. Next I need one of these. Okay then. And now I need one of these. And one of those. I can get one of those. 
There's one. And then I need two of these. Not that one. That's the one. So just glue that on there. And just stick that on this one here. And I need I need four of these. Whatever these are. I honestly can't see what I'm doing because I'm just a voice. <laughs> honestly, I'm just a voice. And I'm I'm uh, I'm gonna reveal this secret now. I'm actually a ghost. I'm just a voice and the pieces are moving on their own. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Not really. I'm as real as anybody else. Except of course I'm doing this and I've got all I've already got all four on. Uh, I need I need two of these. One goes there. The other goes back there. And I need two one by four one by four strips. Plates, whatever they're called. I'm gonna some plates anyway. Next, I need to put on the windows. This one thing I never, uh, one thing that always struck me as odd for the, as a, it struck me as odd for uh, the choice of the new version of Ecto One from the 2016 Ghostbusters movie. Although I never seen that movie, but one thing that strikes me as odd is the fact that they decided to use a hearse of all things. Because that always obviously makes sense to have a siren on it. A hearse. Because hearses obviously come in red and blue. And not the ambulance that they chose in the first, in the original Ghostbusters movie. Because uh, that old ambulance, that ambulance from the 40s or 50s, actually makes a lot more sense because the siren actually sounds like ghostly whales. The siren of the original ambulance from the 40s or 50s actually sounds like uh, some... No, it was from the 50s. The siren from the ambulance from the 1950s actually sounds like a ghost is... is uh, actually sounds like ghostly wailing. It actually sounds like ghosts just moaning, like doing the whole thing that they usually do in the movies. So, that's, that's just my opinion. That's just my personal opinion on the matter of the of the choice of a hearse for the Ecto-1 for the new Ghostbusters movie. This, anyone else can have their opinion on it. The, the decision of there being a hearse, that's just mine. That's just my opinion on it. To each their own. That's what I say. To each their own. And more importantly, the the move the music that I heard. The music of what they the, what they did to the. What do I got done that now? Which one's the front? Which one's the back? Anyway, the music that they ch that they decided to use, like what they did to the original Ghostbusters theme song. Now that that is an odd choice. Basically making a remix version. I don't know. What was so bad with them about the original? But then again, I still didn't watch the movie yet. I've been waiting on that one for the right time. But, yeah. Basically, when I watch the Ghostbusters movie, I'll be going in blind. Because I do have the original two Ghostbusters movies on DVD. What am I missing now? And those are really nice. Those are great movies. I would never give them up for anything. Oh, no, I don't need that one. I need this one. I wouldn't... I wouldn't... There's... I wouldn't see no fault in it, but I do... Again, this is my own personal opinion here. I do see a slight fault in what they did with... with the people who originally played Ghostbusters, because the way they could have done done the route is they could have had it in the same universe in time. They could have had it in the exact same universe and have and have the original Ghostbusters 
uh, just be there and mentor the new team. Kind of like what they did in Ghostbusters Extreme. And instead of having an all-female cast, having a, instead of having an all-female team of Ghostbusters, have at least, oh, I don't know, put a, fe- put a male in there somewhere, probably like uh, one male, one probably like two males and two females. That works. Or, again, like the extreme, like they did in the extreme Ghostbusters, in Ghostbusters Extreme, which is supposed to take place after the real Ghostbusters animated series, they have uh, three males and one female. That works. And that one female, I believe, was the Ray Stance of the group. I, th- yeah, yeah. They, no. No way. Hold on, I'm just trying to remember now. I'm trying to remember what in Ghostbusters Extreme what it exactly what to, their team comprised of. Uh, oh yeah, it was still a team. Of, like, like I was trying to remember if it was a team of four or a team of three, but they kept with a team of four. They still had the same original. Uh, they still had the the original format. One black guy and one black guy and three whites. One white, uh, one white guy was in a wheelchair, which actually did vary it up a little bit. It did vary it up nicely too. Had a new sense of okay. There's new. There's we got to figure out new ways of getting around because there's one guy who. Could, is possibly a lot faster than we are because he's got uh, more movement than we do because he's in a wheelchair and he's got good lord the upper body strength on that guy on the one in the wheelchair <laughs> amazing and the one whoa the one black guy in the team that was that was pretty good, too. I don't remember watching many episodes of Ghostbusters Extreme. I watched it whenever it came on, and I believe it was probably Saturday mornings. But it was a great show. And the idea of one of the original Ghostbusters, Egon Spangler, actually uh, becoming their mentor, that gave it a, that gave it kind of a, a Power Rangers aspect to it, sort of. With Egon Spangler as their as their new mentor, and Janine coming back as the secretary, that actually works. Plus, with the delightful return of Slimer. <laughs> now that that is a Ghostbusters main staple, Slimer. <laughs> Again, and this go this is bringing me back to the Ghostbusters, the new 2016 Ghostbusters movie. I haven't seen that one. Where I still haven't seen that one, I don't know. I only seen very uh, variable clip uh, screenshots and clips of what they did with Slimer. There being Slimer in a car with a female Slimer. That uh, kind of raises some eyebrows and a few questions. What the sli- What the hell is Slimer? What was he when he was alive? How did he die? And how in the hell was there a convenient enough way for there to be a second, a second one uh, that a, a woman dying at the exact same way? What are the chances? <laughs> very, very, very low. Those are the chances. That's <laughs> most of the confusing parts there. Most of the confusing parts for that is the very slim chances of that actually happening. <laughs> but I don't know much about it in the first place. I do know that. What was I looking to do? Oh, I do know that. However possible, however much of a slim chance that is, it happened, and somehow Slimer managed to find her. 
that one other ghost that's exactly like him, which, <laughs> again, it raises a few eyebrows. Like, how in the hell did he manage to find her, and how did he... Uh, how in the hell did he manage to find her? Where did he find her? And how the hell did he get a car that was small enough for him and his missus? How? How, 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 how? <laughs> that... I don't know. Uh, something about that doesn't make sense. But it kind of does. What am I, what am I hoping to do? Oh yeah, need to put that there. I need this one. Plug it in there. There we go. Oh, okay. Next, I need one of these to go there for the light, because obviously it's in the dead center. I need one on top with the faucet handle. Faucet on the end, because that makes a horn. Sure, why not? And now I need. Oh, I need this one. You guys can't see, but I'm holding up something. I don't know what the piece is called, but I'm holding it up. <laughs> uh oh, I don't want to lose those. I still need those. <laughs> Boy, I really hate putting together the fiddly Lego pieces. But they are very. I really I hate putting together little little tiny ones, but they are worth it because they add they add a wide variety of design choices. Okay, so I'll put that over on this t on top of this. Yeah, there we go. That works. And now I need the wheels. But yeah, those. Small fiddly pieces provide a lot of design choices. And, again, back to the Ghostbusters. What in the world prompted uh, them to destroy the ghosts instead of busting them? Like, instead of putting them into the traps and just storing them away into the... Uh, into the... Uh, whatever it was called. In the, in the ghost containment unit. Why... Why, instead of doing that, why instead choose to literally destroy the ghost completely? Because that's kind of defeating the purpose of busting them. Then you're not ghost busters, you're ghost killers. So, yeah, that kind of... <laughs> kind of an odd decision there. In my opinion, it doesn't make a lot of sense, but... Again... To each their own. To each their very own. I could care less about what the person who directed Ghostbusters does about it, but from what I heard, the Ghostbusters movie didn't do too well, which didn't, <laughs> which means it didn't get, which means it didn't kind of, it didn't. Uh, go over too well with a lot of people, which means it probably won't get a sequel. I'd say a lot of people were relieved by that. Ah, now I put now I put it on the little stand here on the toy pad. Uh-oh. Don't want to lose that. Come on. Go on there. Blue one. There we go. And plug it into the bottom. <clears throat> if I figure out where does it go? Does it go behind the behind the behind the thing? Yes, it does. There we go. There we go. Now do I got some extra spare parts I can just put away. I'll put them away after I finish this video off. There we go. Now to put. Do you want to save this model to the toy tag? Yes, why wouldn't I? I gotta move Melissa McCarthy here for a second. Excuse me, Melissa. Go right there. I just gotta put the Ecto-1 there. There we go. 
Oh, pardon me. Yeah! What'd they do to the siren? What did they do to the siren? Come on! And boom! Are you seeing what I'm seeing? The basement door is open. Hmm. Where'd you get popcorn? Last four apparition. Just be cautious. It's okay. She seems peaceful. She slimed me. <laughs> Three classes. She slimed. She's still sliming me. <laughs> Gertrude Aldridge. Huh. Oh. Oh. I gotta deal with this. Go over there. Over there. Over there. I'm gonna end this video here, so it's gone on long enough. So thank you all so much for joining me in this experience. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button to raise hell. Subscribe to see more, and I'll see you in the next video. So long.